Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Welcome to the 2020 Fight Stick Awards. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, this year we're doing things a little bit differently. We're focusing on the community, and I've teamed up with Reddit Fight Sticks to present this year's best. The categories this year are as follows. The weirdest or funniest fight stick. Best wiring. Best DIY case. Best stick accessory. Best artwork or overall theme. Best mix box best hitbox, and finally, best overall fight stick. Now to choose winners for each of these categories, we've assembled an amazing panel of judges. These people are extremely well known in the gaming world and also know their way around a fight stick. The first panel member is Alex Myers, a professional Street Fighter player and content creator. Next up, we have Phantom Miria, a professional Street Fighter player and broadcaster. Next up, we have the legendary Markman, who's well known for hardware and arcade stick development. Jimmy Wen, the Level Up co-founder, president, and COO. Alex Jibaley, the face behind the extremely popular Twitch emote, and the CEO and founder of CEO Gaming, some of the biggest fighting game events of the year. John D, the senior vice president of licensing and business development over at Arcade One Up, and also previously from Capcom. Rounding out the panel are your very own Reddit fight stick mod moderators, Winged Insect and Hush My Sweet. And last but not least, your friendly neighborhood, Mr. Sujano. Now here's how the awards work. Every single person up for an award here, or every single stick rather, has been nominated by the community over at Reddit Fight Sticks. Once the nominations were submitted, the panel started voting. We assigned points to each individual nomination. Once the voting period was over, the points are tallied up and we can declare the winners. Now for the first category, weirdest or funniest stick. This can be weird or funny in a good way. This could be weird or funny in a bad way. It's all up to individual interpretation. So here are the nominees. The Ergobox Prototype 1. The Thinic Fight Board. The Pumpkin Fight Stick. The Mini Me Mix Box V2. The Custom Dive Kick Kickbox. And last up, the Mini Fight Stick. After voting, the top three nominees were the Thnick Fight Board, the Ergo Box, and the Pumpkin Fight Stick. And the sticky goes to the Ergo Box Prototype 1. Congratulations on your sticky award. Here are what some of the judges had to say. Now moving on to the next category, best wiring. Beauty isn't always skin deep and sometimes beauty on the inside counts as well. These sticks presented are beautiful on the outside as well as the inside. Here are the nominees. This beautiful All Fight Sticks JoJo Hitbox. This Blunderbuss 1-0. The Prince of Saiyans Hitbox. This Butter Bomber. This Burgundy Blunderbuss. And rounding out the nominations is this 1-0 Mini. The votes have been tallied, and here are the top three nominees. The Butter Bomber, this 1-0, as well as the All Fight Sticks Hitbox. And the Sticky Award for the Best Wiring goes to this Blunderbuss 1-0 Fight Stick. Congratulations on the win. Enjoy your Sticky. Here is what the judges had to say. Next up, we have the Sticky Award for Best DIY Case, or the Best Do-It-Yourself Case. These cases have been built from the ground up by members of the community. Let's get to the nominations. First up, we have the Mini Me Box version 2. Next, we have this Wireless All Options Stick. Next up is this Custom Hit Box. Next up is this ADK Case. Next up, we have this Versus Case. Rounding out the nominations is the Otisan Super Thin. The votes have been tallied, and the top three nominees in this category are the Otisan Super Thin, the Versus Case, and the Wireless All Options Stick. And the winner of this year's Sticky Award goes to the Versus Case. Congratulations on your Sticky Award. Here's what the judges had to say. Now moving to the next category, Best Stick Accessory. Here are the nominees for this year's Sticky. We have the Shuriken JLF PCB from Bitbang Gaming. Layer Shift's Concave Plunger Retro Caps. 
The Iris by Waz Waz. And rounding up the nominees is The Snap Out by Buttercade. The votes are in and this category was extremely close. The winner for the best stick accessory is The Snap Out by Buttercade. Congratulations on your sticky award. Here's what the judges had to say. Now moving to the next category, this one is pretty darn big. A lot of people were excited for this one. This is for the best artwork or overall theme. Here are the nominees. The Sumitsu 40th Anniversary Neo Geo Style. Die 1000 Deaths, an Akuma-themed Butter Bomber. This Alpha Bomber. This custom 8 arc fusion. This berserk BNB. This Bruno stick. Dreamcast tribute. Felicia from Darkstalkers. Bruce Lee. Scorpion. This Xenodachi stick. Gambit by JXK Designs. Joker All Fight Sticks Hitbox. This Reese's Theme Snack Box. This Mix Box. Killer Combat. Kobe. Pulse Demon. This dynamic duo. Mr. Sparkle. Pearl Buttercades. Rainbow LED Quarantine Stick. Ramen Mix Box. Don't be a salty bee. Storm Shadow. Technodrome Nightwalker. Voltron. Xenoblade. Voting for this category was pretty close. Here are the top three nominees. We have Salty B, Scorpion, and Bruce Lee. And the sticky for best art or theme goes to Fight Stick Guy's Bruce Lee stick with actual nunchucks. Congratulations on the win. Here's what the judges said. Moving to the next category, this is for the best mix box. Here are the nominees for this year's sticky. Them's Fightin' Herds, Rin Tezuka, Master Roshi, Minimi Mix Box V2, Odin Modded Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, this mix box, and rounding up the nominees is the Thnick Fight Board. Voting is in, and the top three nominees are the Master Roshi Mix Box, the Thnick Fight Board, and the Odin Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. And the sticky for best mix box goes to Master Roshi. Congratulations on the win. This is what the judges had to say. Now moving on to the next category. Hitbox, here are the nominees for this year's best overall hitbox. All Fight Sticks JoJo theme. This custom handmade hitbox. Felicia from Darkstalkers. Terminator 2 T1000. The Faux Hammer Ultraviolet. This hitbox made out of walnut. The Ninja Turtle hitbox. This Okuyasu hitbox. Prince of Saiyans. This Joker All Fight Sticks Hitbox. And rounding out the nominees is the Snackbox Micro. After counting up the votes, the top three nominees are the All Fight Sticks JoJo Hitbox, the Snackbox Micro, and the All Fight Sticks Joker. And the sticky goes to the All Fight Sticks Joker Hitbox. Congratulations on the win. Here's what the judges had to say.
Now moving on to the next category. This one is the biggest category and the last category that the panel voted on. This is for best overall fight sticks. Here are the nominees. The Samitsu 40th Anniversary Neo Geo themed stick. Die 1000 Deaths, this Akuma themed build. Amethyst. This 7th Heaven BNB. This Berserk BNB. This stick by Buttercade. Bruno. This Burgundy Blunderbuss. The Business Fight Stick. The Hitbox Cross Up. Clean and Clear. Matte Black. Bowhammer Vega. V6 Mini Bomber. The Bruce Lee Stick. The Zenodashi Stick. Scorpion. Meta B. The BNB and Espada. This custom slim build. Death is just the beginning. Tales from the Stick. The Yodasan Super Thin. The Blunderbuss 1-0. The 1-0 Mini. The Pearl Buttercade Pair. The Rainbow LED Quarantine Stick. Third Strike Ken. Woodburn. This custom Sega Virtuous Stick. This Virtuous Stick Pro. Voltron. And rounding out the nominees is this Wireless Bomber. Now even though this was a massive category, voting was extremely close. The top sticks were separated by just a few points, and there were about 14 or so sticks that almost cracked the top three. They were just right there. So here are the top three nominees. We have Scorpion, we have Bruce Lee, and we have Woodburn. And the sticky for Fight Stick of the Year goes to the Bruce Lee Stick. Congratulations on your win. This is an incredible stick. Here is what the judges had to say. And that marks the end of the panel section, but the 2020 Fight Stick Awards aren't finished yet. This next award is extremely special. It's the Reddit Fight Sticks Award. This is given out by the mod team at Reddit Fight Sticks to someone in the community who has done something extremely special. So I'll hand this one over to the mod team at Reddit Fight Sticks to let them present it. This community is made up of some of the most helpful and creative people out there. And each day we get to see what new, awesome Fight Stick posts find their way to the top of this subreddit. It's truly hard for us to pick a single standout contributor since there are so many that make this place great. So before we do that, we'd like to at least acknowledge a few of the greats. There are awesome people like Layer Shift, as well as Dark Giuseppe with Bitbang, who continually work toward button and joystick innovations. There are the wiring gods Digital Aaron and Lion Obu. The latter in particular has assisted this community with his great wiring guide, and if you are interested in stepping up your own builds, that should be your go-to starting resource. You can't ignore the outside of your sticks either, so as far as art contributions go, we've got Johnny and Clev continuing to put forth some of the coolest, boldest original work in the FGC. Bear Wit has also made a name for himself this year with his distinctive comic stylings that work so well with fight sticks. His work has very much been embraced by the community at large, and it's a rare week when we don't see it featured here some way. 
All of them, plus many others, make this community great, but we can only give a single award. For continually pushing Fightstick designs forward with inspiring bomber builds, for working in conjunction with overseas suppliers to facilitate an easy acquisition of new and interesting parts, for solving age-old button-changing problems with a snap-out tool, and for inspiring countless others to push the envelope with their own wild and brilliant fight sticks, our Mod Award of 2020 goes to Batero. Congrats from us at our fight sticks, and we hope to see what Batero and the rest of this community can surprise us with in 2021. Now the stickies have been awarded, the Reddit Fight Stick Award has been awarded, and last but not least are my three awards, my Sujis. There are three Sujis up for grabs this year. The first one is for best budget stick. What stick do I think is the best bang for your buck for a beginner just starting out? The second category is the best pre-built stick. Which fight stick is best that you can just pick up off the shelf? And the last Suji will go to the best custom arcade stick manufacturer. So the first Suji of the night for the best budget fight stick. And this year's Suji goes to the Kwamba Drone. This stick right now is 65 bucks on ADARC and on Amazon it's about $69. It's a nice, lightweight, portable stick that can be fully upgraded to San Juan parts. It works on PS3, PS4, and on PC, and for its price point, it's fairly durable. So congratulations, Kwamba, on making a great little fight stick and winning this year's Suji. Now for the second last award of the night, what is the best pre-built fight stick? And the Suji goes to the Atoki Omni. Now this stick is not for the faint of heart. Now yes, this stick is $349. $9.99. It's definitely not cheap, but they do have less expensive versions of pretty much the exact same stick. The Omni is fairly compact, it's built like a tank and it will stand the test of time. If you needed to buy one stick to last you the rest of your life, aside from swapping out the PCB and buttons and lever every now and then, the Atoki Omni would be a pretty darn good choice. So congratulations Atoki for winning the Suji for best pre-built fight stick of 2020. And now we're at the last category of the night, and this is a pretty big category, one of my favorites. This is the Suji Award for Best Custom Stick Manufacturer. There are a handful of extremely good custom stick manufacturers out there, and this award was extremely hard to decide on. The Suji for Best Custom Stick Manufacturer of 2020 goes to Junk Food Custom Arcades. This has been a pretty big year for them. They've redesigned their snack box. The snack box version 2 is out. They came out with an incredibly small hitbox called the Snackbox Micro. They've donated some fight sticks to charity and their quality here is second to none. The panels on their fight sticks are dishwasher safe and they run over everything with a full size pickup truck to make sure it still works. Their durability tests here are insane. They've had some really good collaborations this year. Their Snackbox Micro is amazing. And if the original Snackbox wasn't already good enough, they did find some ways to improve it. Junk Food Custom Arcades has had an amazing year, so congratulations on your Suji. So that about does it for this year's Fight Stick Awards. I want to say a massive thank you to every single judge on the panel. Your help was greatly appreciated. This was a ton of fun. A huge thank you also goes out to the Reddit Fight Sticks mod team. Your involvement was amazing. Honestly, the work you did behind the scenes and even in front of the scenes was amazing. You did a lot of organizational work and you did a lot of work to help get the word out. The Reddit Fight Sticks community is extremely lucky to have you as mod. And last, but most definitely not least, thank you to the Reddit Fight Sticks community. This would not have been possible without your involvement. The Fight Sticks you created were amazing, the nominations even better. Thank you for everything you've done this year, and I can't wait to see what you do in 2021. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on the Fight Sticks of the Year 2020 in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.